Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. Look us up on Roku or in the sports section, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. You know, I don't believe any fighter is unbeatable. I actually believe that there are styles that can beat every guy out there. Um, in studying for this weekend's fights, I was looking at the Danny Garcia, Amir Khan fight video. I've posted a link in my favorites here on my YouTube channel page. I encourage people to look at it. Now, I feel Floyd Mayweather beats Saul Alvarez, the kind of fighter who, in my opinion, would give Floyd all he could handle who could possibly beat Floyd Mayweather if this fighter keeps his head and is on his game, and that's an open question, is the Amir Khan, who is on film in the first two rounds of his fight against Danny Garcia. You know, knockouts cause amnesia. Danny Garcia wins the fight, no question about it, takes over the fight in the third round. Amir Khan hits the canvas multiple times, clearly doesn't have his legs under him, is badly hurt. No question about it. Amir Khan's chin is an ongoing subject for discussion, right? There have been times where Amir Khan, quite frankly, has been hurt and has been dropped in fights. All of that is true, but in terms of talent, the hand speed and the stiff jab that Amir Khan displays those first two rounds, along with the foot speed, the timing, and the movement are exactly, in my opinion, what's needed to give Floyd Mayweather a real challenge, right? Amir Khan, hand speed is not an issue. Quite frankly, his hand speed might be faster than Floyd Mayweather's. If Khan keeps his head about him and actually continues to pop the jab and doesn't decide to play tough guy, and that's been a problem in fights, including the Danny Garcia fight, right? Khan could have fought that fight more on his back foot. He didn't need to engage with Danny Garcia. But if Khan stays away and doesn't stick around long enough for a Floyd Mayweather to counter him, I'd be much more intrigued by that matchup than I am, let's say, Floyd Mayweather, Saul Alvarez. Right? I'm making this video because I understand that the boxing hardcore here on YouTube are going to stumble across this video in deciding how they're going to play the Lucas Matisse fight uh, against Danny Garcia this weekend, right? All I'm saying is, while I believe Floyd would handle Danny Garcia, for example, while I believe Floyd would handle Lucas Matisse, for example, styles make fights. Floyd doesn't have Amir Khan's length. Amir Khan has the foot speed, quite frankly, to stay outside on Mayweather. But let me just say, Amir Khan is a guy who, in my opinion, seems to go off script so often that his trainer, Virgil Hunter, is going to have to keep him on track, as it is. Khan split with Freddie Roach, right, following the fight against Danny Garcia. It's an open question whether Khan is still even trying to fight the style that he fought in the first two rounds against Danny Garcia. But from my seat, the way it looks to me is if you're going to beat Floyd Mayweather, you have to make movement and hand speed and a stiff jab an issue, right? And quite frankly, talent-wise, Amir Khan has all of that going on. 
where con is limited and it's an issue is in terms of the stiffness up top he's not a fighter who rolls in other words he doesn't intuitively have the gift of being able to hit you you come forward and he he's not a guy who can just lean and roll away from punches I personally don't think he ever gets that because he's had a long career both as an amateur and as a professional I think it's very hard to teach an adult fighter how to you know change his reflexes so that he's completely rolling with punches right Amir Khan is stiff up top it certainly cost him against Danny Garcia but his legs are so good his jab when he wants it to be is so good and his combination punching is so good that even without built-in reflexes up top right even without the ability to roll read react and roll effortlessly with punches I believe even a stiff American if he can get in and get out would give Mayweather a bigger challenge than I'm expecting Mayweather to have against Saul Alvarez We'll see what happens in the Alvarez fight. Keep in mind, too, Amir Khan also has power. He hits hard. He famously dropped Marcus Maidana off a body punch. He dropped Zab Judah early in a fight, right? Dropped Zab Judah earlier than Lucas Matisse dropped Zab Judah. So understand, it's not just movement that would enable Amir Khan to make it a tough match, but it's also the power in his offensive arsenal, right? He's just going to have to find a way, though, to stay outside and to move and to not abandon his game plan, stay inside and trade like he did against Danny Garcia. Anyway, the way I see it is uh, if you want to know how to beat Mayweather, the kind of style I think would beat Mayweather or give him a big challenge, Take a look at the first two rounds. Khan's aggressive. Khan's on his game. The jab is popping. The hand speed is obvious. The movement is obvious. The center of gravity. You know, Danny Garcia looks tethered to the canvas compared to Amir Khan. Right? Khan in those first two rounds. Wow. Right? You have to ask yourself what happened to Khan in the third and fourth round. Why he couldn't just continue to move and win that fight easily. That's the enigma of that fighter. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Just remember, it's my belief, my bias, that styles make fights. Thanks for stopping by.